Hi, so I'm going to be showing you how to install the uh, Winbox app on a Mac. So if you're using a Mac Mini, a MacBook Pro, or a Mac Pro, whatever Mac device that you're using, you can actually follow along this video to learn how to install Winbox on a Mac. So the first thing that we're actually going to do is to download a software called Crossover. So it's a software that allows you to run uh, Windows-based programs on a Mac or on a, on a Linux-based uh, uh, operating system. So Crossover is one of the easiest uh, software that you can actually use to install Winbox. Though uh, most people, if you ask uh, uh, most people, they will tell you that you can use uh, uh, Wine. But then the Wine method is a bit difficult uh, compared to using the uh, Crossover software. However, the issue is that you do have to pay for the crowd list for the software uh, for you to be able to install it on your Mac. Uh, it's about 15 bucks for you to actually install it on your your Mac, which is not too much in my in my own opinion. Uh, but if you actually don't have a budget for uh, uh, the software, you can actually download an unofficial copy of this software from uh, a website called uh, Ocean of DMG. So if you go to oceanofdmg.com, you can actually get a uh, pirated copy of this site is exempt software. Though I don't recommend you doing that in any way, especially if you're going to be using this in a production or environment. So I've actually already uh, downloaded and uh, actually purchased and downloaded the software. So what I'm actually going to do now is to install it. So I've actually copied it to, to my software's folder and it should be right here. Okay, so I'm actually going to open it now. Um, okay, so this is the cro crossover software. So simply drag the crossover icon to the application's uh, folder. So it should actually start copying the software to your application's uh, folder. So once the copy process is complete, uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to open Crossover. Okay, so the next thing that we're actually going to do is to download the Winbox app. So I'm actually going to do, go to uh, microtech.com and then when you get to the Microtech website, click on the software tab. So once you click on the software tab, uh, you should see a Winbox uh, 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 option and then select the Winbox 3.3564 bit option. So this will actually start the, this will actually download the uh, Winbox onto, onto your Mac. Um, okay, so the Winbox download is complete. So what I'm actually going to do is to go to my downloads folder. If I click on the Winbox application that we've actually just downloaded, and then click on Open with Crossover. So we've actually instructed uh, Crossover to actually open the uh, Winbox uh, application. So the next thing that we need to do is to select a bottle. So click on the select a bottle tab and then select, uh, in my case, I'm just going to choose uh, Windows 7 64-bit bottle. And then on the click on the select uh, application tab, then click on browse uh, application list and then select the unlisted application option and then click on continue. So you should then see a crossover is ready to install um, page. And then all you simply need to do is to click on install. So this will actually start the uh, uh, Winbox um, installation process. Uh, usually it should not take more than five minutes for us to complete this uh, this part. Um, so uh, unfortunately I actually don't have a physical router that I can actually test with. Uh, but we should be able to see uh, uh, any routers that are within the network that I'm actually currently connected to. So we're actually going to then check that out when the installation is done. Okay, um, so during the installation process, we can actually see that um, Crossover was able to create a Winbox 64-bit uh, bottle. 
and then it was also able to prepare the system for the Winbox application. But then there is another installation that is currently still in progress. But these two items were sufficient enough for Crossover to be actually be able to open up Winbox. So you just have to wait for it to complete the installation process for the unlisted application here. But from uh, Winbox, you can actually see that you can actually see uh, the routers that are actually attached to the network that I'm currently on. But unfortunately, I don't have access to these uh, routers. But you can actually see that we can see the routers and we should be able to then log in to any of these routers using this uh, Winbox uh, application. So uh, there you have it, folks. Basically, this is how you can actually install uh, Winbox using the uh, crossover software.